I'm debating on if I want to get dressed or and leave the house or finish this video. <laughs> Cause this is the video um that I'm I forgot to time it. Alright, hold on mama, that's Nene. Alright. Hello, I was on the phone with mama when you called all those times. No, she said if, if I ain't feeling no painful contractions, then just wait it out because I don't want to be at the hospital all day long. But you think that's your water, bro? She said it might be because I explained to her what happened. She said call a doctor and explain to them what happened and see what they say. Well, call her line because she was on her way to get you or you talk to her. Uh-uh, I'm going to call her. Yeah, call her before she could leave her house. All right. And then call me and let me know what's going on because I was trying to call you because you got jury duty and you need to make an excuse where you can't go because you can go to jail for that. I got jury duty? You got jury duty, but you need to go online. You, after you finish doing what you're doing with your doctor, call me. And I'm going to text you the paper. And then you can just go online and get your excuse, tell them you're nine months pregnant, you know, and all that. Mm -hmm. Call um, your doctor and see what they tell you to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if your water would have um, broke, I guess you would have knew. I don't know. Everybody say something different. They say it could be a leak. It could be a, a pop. You ain't in no pain, so. Yeah, no pain. It's just tight. It's getting tighter and tighter. And tell her you think your water and broke. Do she wants you to come to the doctor? She might want you to come up there. No, no, it's okay. Uh, Mama told me to just wait until my contractions get worse so I don't have to be at the hospital all day. Okay, you all right, though, huh? Yeah. I know she did, cause she was hysterical after I told her. I was like, my mama not answering, so I'm, I'm calling you. Hey, can you uh, transfer me to early labor? Early labor, can I help you? I'm not sure if my water broke. I'm feeling contractions, but they not painful. Okay, but if you think your water broke, you need to come in and be checked out. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. All right. All right, honey, you welcome. Bye. Bye. What happened was Chris stupid ass made me laugh and I felt like a gush of liquid come out. You know how like when you laugh too hard or when you stand up and you're on your period and that gush come out. That's kind of how it felt. And so I stood up and more came out and I'm like, oh my fucking goodness. Because I immediately stood up because I'm like, hold on, was I, am I tripping? But then when the more came out, I was like, oh my God, Chris, I think my water breaking. I pulled my pants down and I... <laughs> And I see a big wet, like filled up the whole coochie part of the drawers, a big wet area. And so I'm like, oh my God, my water breaking. And then he like, are you sure? It looked like regular coochie juice to me. And I'm like, <laughs> first off, you have never seen what coochie juice look like in my drawers, unless you snuck and look. But like, it doesn't look like I pissed on myself. This is clear liquid. This is not like the coochie juice that I'm used to. And this is a lot. And I just felt it all come out. And now I'm still feeling like little bubbles. I don't know for sure because I haven't been checked. Like I'm thinking my, my water broke. Chris ended up going to work because he just was like, okay, uh, this don't really seem urgent. We we looked it up. Maybe it's just your mucus plug because you're not really in pain and stuff like that. You're not really getting contractions. That's painful. And so he went to work. Like I'm getting contractions, but they not like the painful kind. Something told me, you know what, fuck it. Just call mama. So she didn't answer. So I ended up calling my grandmother. And then my grandmother was like, oh, hysterical. <laughs> And she was like, Mom, we're not answering. Well, I'm about to call your sister. And, and so she called my sister. My sister was on her way. My mama finally called me back. And then I explained to her what happened. She was like, call your doctor. See what your doctor say. And then I called my doctor. Well, y'all heard what they said. And it was like, if you feel like your water broke, you need to come in to get checked. I am currently editing this video of me and Chris. It will probably take about an hour for me to edit it. I'm going to wait an hour, go shower, get dressed, and then call somebody to bring me to the ER, to early labor. I don't feel like it's urgent, urgent. Like, I know the doctor's office said, you need to come get checked. But she didn't say, like, immediately. Today is December 18th. And it's 11.09. That is a day after my dad's birthday. If my water did break, baby girl could potentially be a Sagittarius instead of a Capricorn. But I did say in my last video that like if she came tomorrow, I would be okay with that because it just felt like everything is basically done. Let's hope I didn't drink myself. But I'm gonna get back on camera after I finish editing this video. I'm actually starting to feel pain. I don't know whether to be excited or scared. <laughs> what the Fuck. Okay, hold on. Is this progressing? No. <gasps> no. Today is December 18th and it's 12.32. No. 
I don't know if this is really happening right now. So I'm done editing the video right now. I'm just gonna look over it. I'm gonna go take a shower, change, pack a bag. Then I'm gonna come back and sit down and upload it on the YouTube. Lord knows I hate these damn stairs. All right, y'all. So I decided to go to the uh, early labor so they can test the. So they can check your pussy. So they can test the fluid. And then I also want them to tell me if I'm dilated more. Because I feel like I've been getting buku contractions. And I just want to know, am I getting the contractions for no reason? Your thumb ain't away. Your thumb ain't away. They got fucking chips on the floor. Get yourself. Bro, never the fuck again. First off, this bitch fingers were huge. One of her fingers was two of mine. So she had to put two of her big ass fingers in me and she's shoving them in hard as fuck. First off, I'm not even knowing that she gotta go in my cervix. So I'm like, why the fuck do hers hurt so bad? This is the first time that I have ever bled from somebody checking me. And I didn't got checked three times before her. Make it make sense. Big fat ass finger. And then she talking about I'm not even one centimeter dilated. No, bitch, your fingers just big as hell. And you trying to go all up in my stomach and coming out my fucking throat. You know what Christmas is all about.